This is this Jed said, it's called Julia Child Hates Me. My life was not spectacularly lived, but once I had dinner with Julia Child, true, just the two of us alone in a book cafe, called me Julia, and I was nervous, cut my meat with my spoon, squirted lemon in her eye, and the people around us were whispering, who is that man with Julia? And Julia called out her good friend, Chef Moussa, from the kitchen, originally from Tunisia, to congratulate him on the pork chops, though she said he should have used my recipe, and introduced me to him, saying in that goosey Julia voice of hers, Leo is a friend of MFK Fischer. So Monsef thought I must be somebody too, and we had much more wine than we had pork, and later I poured Julia into a cab, and as it took her away, she gobbled, we must do this again, though we never did. Although there was that other time at the theater when Jean Stapleton, Edith Bunker, impersonated Julia singing opera, and I took Joe Markowitz over to meet her, Julia, not Jean, and they got on so well, better than Julia and I had actually, that I was jealous. Joe told her his favorite of all French chef shows was the one where she made little anchovy pizzas. Did I? I don't remember that one. And later, Joe painted her name in big letters in the snow with his mitten. Julia Child, and was aglow with a joy I have not seen in him since. And there was a third time at the MFK Fisher reception at the Schlesinger, where I asked Julia to say hello to Martha Killalay, who really didn't want to say hello. And Julia said, hello, and walked away, her mouth full of lobster something or other, and that was that. And then the time after that, when I wrote and asked Julia to send a letter of recommendation for a friend of mine, Rob Rosenberger, who was interested in becoming a chef, only he really wasn't, he was a crack addict. I just did it so I could get a letter from her, and I don't know, but I think Julia Child thinks I am a nut, a bad petty for. But what the heck, it was dinner alone with Julia Child, just the two of us, and isn't that life? to want to keep something lovely going on and on.